So just to begin, older adults really constitute a larger and larger proportion of the population at large, and this is an especially relevant problem in the domain of cancer, where uh, older adults, patients over the age of 65, actually account for about 60% of cancer incidence and 70% of cancer-related mortality. Uh, this is especially relevant to kidney cancer, where the median age of diagnosis is 64. So clearly there's a relationship between aging and, and kidney cancer in general. But one thing that I will say is that despite this slew of novel therapies that we've developed over the past decade, we really don't have a concrete understanding of the relative benefit and relative safety of targeted therapies, and even immunotherapy for that matter, in older adults. So the goal of my research was really to develop a general sense of how older adults do in the current era. My study looked at a total of 562 patients that have been treated at City of Hope over the past decade. We honed in on 219 patients who had metastatic disease. And amongst these patients, we divided them up into four categories based on age. Patients below the age of 55, patients from 55 to 64, patients from 64, uh, 65 to 74, and patients uh, greater than or equal to 75 years of age. And our real intent in this study was to see whether or not patients in that oldest subgroup, age 75 or greater, had a difference in terms of clinical outcome. What was very interesting is that when we looked at the clinical and pathologic characteristics of these patients, when we looked at their MSKCC score, when we looked at some of the other prognostic criteria that we routinely use to identify kidney cancer patients, uh, we didn't really see any variation uh, between age-based subsets. However, when we looked at the treatment of these patients, what we saw is that older adults, patients specifically over the age of 75, received fewer lines of systemic therapy. Furthermore, those older patients tended to discontinue therapy for progression more often, and they actually tended to discontinue therapy as a consequence of side effects more often as well. Um, so this is interesting data, and it really culminated in our look at overall survival. And what we found is that there was really no distinction between survival amongst patients less than 55, 55 to 64, and 65 to 74. But in contrast, the survival in patients aged 75 or greater was far lower. Um, so we found that ultimately, in terms of net clinical outcome, in terms of overall survival, older adults tend to do more poorly. And this really is a call to the research community to take a bigger look and a better look at how older adults with kidney cancer do. Uh, so perhaps issues such as side effect management and so forth, while they're certainly essential in younger patients, may be of critical importance in older patients to allow for maintenance of dose and schedule of therapies. Absolutely. Well, I think the first question out of any kidney cancer patient's mouth should be, are there clinical trials available to me? And, and that's something that my mentors, including yourself, have, have taught me over the years. Um, so, you know, your question, uh, Nancy, was related to what an older patient uh, should be treated with relative to a younger patient, and I think that's an excellent question. And as we look across the phase three clinical trials that have led to the approval of targeted therapies, it's really hard for me to tease out a distinction in terms of clinical benefit uh, between age groups. And in fact, there are certain trials that actually point towards a relative benefit um, in progression-free survival and other endpoints in older patients as compared to younger patients. Um, so I certainly think that every opportunity that we grant our younger patients with respect to targeted therapies uh, should be offered to older patients as well.